Hey guys, I want to discuss whether the icon element on Bricks needs an overhaul, especially with SVGs, or <laughs> whether I'm just too dumb to use it. it. My experience here is that sizing controls in particular are confusing and apparently also buggy, with the potential of causing issues on websites. That said, I might have run into a one-time bug in the video that you're about to see, because I wasn't able to reproduce it later myself so but I, I can't say for sure what I can say is that I at least find the sizing confusing and you'll see that I also got confused about whether icons are set on the class level if you put a class on them or if they're just set on the ID level I got some results that I that weren't quite conclusive to me so at the beginning of this video what you're going to see briefly is how I originally set up the services card in this layout with their icons and then I, how I also duplicated these cards later after initially duplicating them and forgetting to put BEM classes on them before doing so. And then there's a short snippet of that at the beginning of this video that just shows you this as well. And after that, you're going to see the, I don't know, 15-ish minute block where I tried changing these icons and found that sizing values had disappeared from the Bricks UI and they remained in the actual CSS, which caused me to just burn everything to the ground and delete the, you know, the class and redo the styling on a new one. So yeah, let's go into this and let me know if I'm, if I'm just being stupid here, if I'm overlooking something or if this looks just like a one-time bug and what you think about generally the way this icon element is handled and if it, if it could use some improvements. It would be interesting to have a quick discussion about this either here in the comments or on Facebook. And the icon is going to be this one for the library. The stroke color is going to be white. There we go. Very nice. Height is going to be 2, 3 rem. Width is going to be 3 rem. Seven's about right, I think. Why did I? Oh God, I'm stupid. I did. I I duplicated it before beaming it. Now I'm gonna have to do a bunch of work again. Learn, Maddie. Learn, learn the hard way. Class converter, default card icon heading body. Copy the ID styles to the classes. Yes. Erase the ID styles. Yes, create classes. So now we've got our classes. There's no more ID stuff left. We're going to save. I'm going to pause to spare you the agony. All right, so these guys are now all bemmed out. So let's say, you know, I ever want to change anything about the H3 here. Does it, what, what does the title have? Okay, it has a bunch of ID styling. The icon has a bunch of ID styling. Well, that's interesting that they put the size here, not... Yeah, in the icon, if I go to SVG. So I might want to fix the icons that I was using up here. Remember how we put in here, the, in the icon, we put, we went on the icon and then, what did I do? Uh, let's see. I think this is on the ID level. I gave it, I gave it a, a size, didn't I? It's 16 pixels. That's not 16 pixels right there. It's clearly... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to rewatch my old video. To <laughs> look at what I did. But uh, for some reason, it seems like this icon has no... has no space sizing attributes set at all, which confuses the fuck out of me right now. Because somewhere, I mean, it is 70 pixels. So I'm not sure why. Okay, what happens if I could just give on the class this time? Because I want all of these icons to, to change their size. Yeah. 6 RAM. Nothing happens. 4, 3. Nothing happens. Um... Confusion ensues. Control F5 to reload. Yada yada. Control Shift I to open the inspector. Um, usually, 
opening the inspector is F12. But for me, F12 is this nifty Linux terminal. So since Chrome and I believe also Firefox also allows you to use Control Shift I for the inspector, then you know that's what I'm doing. So let's scroll up a little here and let's look at the source. SVG. We have the SVG, we have the def default card. So the SVG is just its own thing. So if, default card icon, hide with 7 RAM. So it is, it is on the class, except where? Because I didn't see it in the back end. This is the class. This is where it should be, but it's not there. What is happening? Bricks bug? So I just remove the icon on the class level. If I go to the ID level, the icon is gone too. Let's unlock the styles. Let's just remove icon altogether. Okay, no icon selected. Good. Good, good, good. Let's do that for the other two as well. Let's just reset them to, to from scratch because there's something here that we need to figure out. I, you know what? This icon element in Bricks has been confusing me before. So now there's no icon here. It's clearly, it, it, I think it needs some polishing. Because, you know, why is there a sizing, why are there sizing controls here and here if I select an SVG? It's just like, what do we use? What's the right thing to do here? We, we can see right now that this causes not just confusion, but potentially bugs in your website. So it's not ideal. <laughs> so there are our three icons. Let's go to the first one. Let's actually not do anything. Let's go to the front end, control F5 to force reload, bring back up. So now the icon isn't displayed and it, you know, there's no space here. So it means that also we, by deleting the icon, we also got rid of this seven RAM, you know, the width and height. So now we go on the, first of all, I'm going to lock this. I'm going to go on the ID level specifically. I'm going to select the icon. This is going to be a library icon. I'm going to go to SVG here, select the file. It's in the design assets. And, 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 and what's, what's the, this is the library insert. And it's 7 RAM. I don't know why. I mean, I do remember setting it initially at the very beginning, you know, a couple of videos ago, but why is this still there? And how do I get rid of it? I mean, if I delete the class, then I'm rid of it. But this is a problem. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, it is 7rem, isn't it? I mean, let's, okay, let's load it now. Control F5, just for sake, just to be safe. Gosh. No, no, what am I doing? There. I'm so confused now, I'm forgetting Linux Mint keyboard shortcuts. Default card icon has a height and width of 7 RAM. It, but it's not here either. It's not there. It's nowhere to be seen. If now I go height and width, like I cannot delete this anymore because it is empty. I mean, I can probably set something else. If I go 4M, 4M, and that works. Now if I save this, Control S, impressive, thank you. Control F5, now it's 4M. So that worked. Oh shit. Oh no, wait, I did it on the, okay, yeah, of course I did it on the ID level. So let's get rid of this and this. I, yeah, I don't want to do it on the ID level. I want to now see what happens on default card icon. 
and unlock this. And it shows the icon on the class level now too. And it gives me no height and width. Okay, so this is a bug. I'm gonna record this separately as a as a video and, and send it to the to the Bricks team to investigate. And for us to work around this bug now, we're gonna delete the whole default card icon class and redo it. And then I believe what we need to do is set them at the, set the icons themselves at the ID level. So that every because the class Actually, the class doesn't remember. Oh, fuck if I know. Uh, let's set the icons at the ID level. Because at first, when I duplicated these cards, when I first built them and I duplicated them, and, and the icon was set at the class level, then no, this did revert to no icon selected. Even though I duplicated the card, and it should have duplicated the icon that I selected. So that was the other thing that, that kind of messed with me there. I mean, you're not here to watch me do that. <laughs> um, so we're going to, I'm going to pause here and I'm going to be back in a moment. All right, so I got rid of the of the other two cards, which pains me because again, I'm gonna have to bring back the content from Figma. But this is worth investigating while we're here. Now, we have no icon selected, right? I reset the icon, I deleted the class, and now you and I together, we are going to first set an icon on the ID level. Or perhaps just to make a point, I'm going to give this a class, some class, which I'm going to delete later. I'm going to set the icon on the class level. Select library, SVG, yada yada, no file selected. I'm going to select this one, insert. And we're at 34 minutes in the video, so I'm going to remember that for later because I'm going to cut this out and send it to the Bricks team. And we are going to... We're doing all of this at the class level. So we're going to go here. We're going to give it a height and width because I exp that's how I originally did it. So I'm going to go 7 RAM, 7 RAM. Okay. Perfect. Now I've got my icon. That's, that's really all I want. So now I'm going to close this and duplicate the card. And here's the first thing that's going to throw us off. Okay. It's throwing me off, but not for the reason I expect. Because last time I duplicated that card, this icon reset itself to nothing, uh, which made no sense to me. Now, if I'm if I stay on the class level, and I go to the icon and I say, why does it wait? Where's that? Why is there ID styling on this? Oh, because Bricks understands that the icon needs to be set at the ID level, and and just does that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. I mean, fair enough. Perfect. Then I don't know why the first time I duplicated that card, it just deleted, it reset that icon. So now if I go to some class and I go to icon and I select library SVG and I select this and yeah, let's, let's pick this icon, insert. Now it says no icon selected, even though I selected an icon on the class level to boot. So I'm going to save, I'm going to refresh. It's not there. I'm going to refresh the whole thing. Oh, it's not, it's still saving. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Okay. And okay. And now it, it is smaller. It doesn't, it, it, it doesn't remember. the height and width interesting interesting <laughs> so 
So I did this at the class level on this icon. I went here, I said 7 RAM, 7 RAM. Now I'm going to this icon and I'm opening it and it has nothing, nothing. Which is what I want to happen, don't get me wrong. Control F5. So I expect there to be nothing here. Good, 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 good. Now let's try something else. Um, if I go to this icon and I do nothing at the class level and I delete this whole card because I want to have a fresh start again. So this icon here has the class, some class on it. And I want the size of this icon to be 7 RAM. And then I lock the class Disable it, deactivate it, go to icon, select library, SVG, no file selected, yada yada. I'm going to use the library icon and go insert. It's not 7 RAM. Its size is not 7 RAM, even though it, I just told it to be. 6, 8, nothing happens. So let's just not, not use this size and not use this size either. Because these obviously don't get saved. Oh, well, perhaps, perhaps they do get saved. Okay. Perhaps I just needed to refresh the builder. So let's try this again. I'm going to save here. This is confusing as fuck. I mean, do you do you agree that this is confusing as fuck? Um, I, I want one size. I want, I want to, you know what? I just want to use the sizing here. That's what I want to do. You know, I don't want any of these other sizing controls. They just confuse me. So I'm going to remove the icon again. The class is reset. I'm going to lock the class, not mess with it by accident. Go to style, layout, and I'm going to have size width, 7 RAM and height, auto. No, 7 RAM because we don't know. Hmm. Then I just need to make sure that this, that the, the, the SVGs are square. That's my job. Content. Oh no, I did that on the ID level now, which was nonsense. Let's just first put in an icon. SVG, select file. Wonderful. Okay, so I put this SVG in on the ID level. Now I go onto the class level and I go to style, layout, with 7 RAM. Okay, cool. And height 7 RAM. And that works. That's wonderful. Now I'm going to uh, just leave, leave the class alone. Go to content. And this is my icon and it's fine. It's this is this is what I want. So I'm not using this sizing control and I'm certainly not using these sizing controls. I'm using the style on the class. And now while we're here, I might as well just rename this class because I'm, I'm going to end up using it. So I'm going to call it. What was it? Default. Wasn't it default? card underscore underscore icon two. I don't want to have the same class that, that kind of messed with me before. So I'm going to give it a new name. Default card, default card icon two, default card heading. So very nice. So on the class level, I have this. Lock the class. Duplicate the card. <clears throat> now go here. On the ID level, change the icon. And we can already see that now it's working. So, you know, we're fine. And on this here as well. 
I can, it is SVG. Why do I keep clicking this? Why did I click, click that? Okay. Oh, this should be optimization. The other one was elucidation. Okay. And we're good. This is, this is really all that needed to happen.